Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Nicholas Lau from Dallas, Texas. I am so happy to be a part of the Infinite Impact Challenge. It's a little bit of a tongue twister for me for some reasons. So I gotta say it really slowly, but um, I'm so happy to be a part of this. It's, it's absolutely what I need because I've been an internet marketer for five years and one of the things that I've kind of struggled with is putting myself out there and being able to do videos and whatnot. So um, as you notice, I'm not even doing this live right now. And the reason why was there's other people that were doing live in the group and I was like, well, I don't want my video to go live when other people are trying to go live at the same time. So um, that's why I decided, let me just go ahead and record this and upload it because um, I'm working in the daytime. So um, generally speaking, if you look at my YouTube videos, I usually upload them probably last thing at you know, towards the end of the night. It's kind of what I do. So um, now what do I actually do? So I've been an affiliate marketer for years. I'm starting to get more into local marketing. And the reason why is because um, I want to be able to help people in my community. Also, I'm a real estate agent and I thought both went really well hand in hand. The more local businesses I can help, the more I can also help my real estate business. I can help people that are struggling with their business, get more revenue, get more clients through the door. And in return, who knows, you know, maybe they'll throw me some leads and say, hey, Nick, I know somebody that's looking for a house or somebody that needs to sell a house. So I thought those went really well. And I thought by being in this course, and I, just so you know, I've also bought Marley's course, the uh, video scaling system. I have not went through it fully yet. When I had my coaching call with one of uh, Marley's coaching staff, they had recommended that go ahead and start with the Infinite Impact Challenge and it will help me understand the course better. So that's why I kind of held off a little bit knowing that this challenge was coming up. But um, you know, like I said, what I wanna do is really focus on helping local businesses and taking my internet marketing skills I've developed over the last five years and being able to translate that more into the local community. So, and I figure, you know, if I help a lot of restaurants, I might get free meals too, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? So um, sometimes you barter, right? It's like, hey, it's like, rather than you give me money for your service just to get the ball rolling, let me do some work for you for free. And in exchange, you know, give me a free meal or something. And I noticed that goes that goes over really well because people are like, they don't wanna just throw their money at strangers all the time. At the same time, you don't wanna devalue your work. You know what you are worth. And if the you know if the situation presents itself, it's like, listen, I'm gonna do a lot of work here. Here's my price. Remember, never negotiate your price. You can negotiate line items. Like it's like, if they say, hey, Nick, that, that price is a little too high for me? Well, no problem. Here's all the things that I'm gonna do for you. Just let me know what you don't want me to do and that'll bring the price down, right? Rather than you negotiating your price. You never wanna negotiate your worth. You already know what you're worth, right? So what I wanted to do is be able to present all this in the form of videos. My videos are really, really bad right now on YouTube. I mean, I just sit in front of the camera teach what I need to teach or talk about what I need to talk about and then just upload it. I don't know any sort of video editing. I don't know how to put any sort of pretty graphics. And I'm, I'm not a very patient person when it comes to that. I just wanna get the content out there. I don't have time to send it to somebody else to edit it, to do it. But I know I need to learn those things and I know I need to um, you know, develop a little more patience with the process because it'll pay off. You don't wanna just keep putting out you know, lazy content because it's not gonna reward you. And that's one, one of the things I love about Marley is that her content is so amazing. Like, it, it's engaging. It's almost like watching a TV show. You just like, when I start watching her videos, you, I just kind of start binge watching them one at a time because I'm learning different things. I'm trying to get tips on what she's done. Now, she will also tell you herself that when she started doing videos, she would just take, what, the cover off, like, the lampshade, right? Like, over there, just take that off and then, you know, create lighting. Um, I don't have the greatest setup here. I mean, I have a nice office and everything. And uh, don't, ignore the Super Nintendo games. We're in quarantine, my brother and I got bored, so we busted out the Super Nintendo so we could play a little bit. But, um, you know, I got my whiteboard here and then I got my TV there and stuff. So I, I have the things I need to do video well, I probably just need a green screen and some better lighting. But the things that Marley's teaching in this course is what I really want to know. It's all the little intricate details that have taken her to where she's going. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this video for now. As far as what my message is, my message in all businesses, it's something I learned from a conference. I was at this business conference, it must be like 15 years ago, which I'm kind of dating myself now because I'm gonna be 40 this year. So I guess, yeah, maybe I was about 25 at the time back in California. And the one thing that this uh, motivational speaker said, and it stuck with me for years, and it kind of just became my message, he said at the end of the thing, you know, to make sure everybody got jump started, he said, the end result of fear is the death of a possibility. And I, for some reason, I've been to so many seminars, that quote has always stuck with me, and it's something that I've encompassed into my life. So the end result of fear is the death of a possibility. 
what is that? What's that saying? I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's like the more fearful that you're going to be about something, the less likely is it going to happen, right? It's just going to die. You know, an idea that you don't actually implement is just an idea that's going to die. So the end result of fear is the death of a possibility. That's what I want my business motto to be. So it doesn't matter what I do. I mean, I, I wish I had a, like a, a longer, like, uh, you know, slogan and stuff and a mission statement. I'm not there yet, but I do understand that. And that's one of the reasons I got into this challenge because I'm not, I'm not, I don't like being on video. It's not something that I'm comfortable with, but if I fear it, then it's the death of the possibility, right? So that's why I'm in this challenge and I hope to learn a lot from everybody else. And, um, you know, uh, feel free to add me as a friend. I love to make new friends and uh, learn from each other and stuff. So I hope you all take care and have a great challenge. It's going to be a fun 21 days, especially when you're in quarantine, right? Take care. Bye-bye.